Hey guys, I am in my garage and I was going to make um, a regular effort to showcase um, DVDs that I've picked up and I was, um, I literally was thinking, it's Saturday now, but I was thinking Wednesday I was going to make a video and I probably would have about 8 DVDs, but um, as of the course of Thursday and Friday I came into a situation where I have uh, develop or I've uh, I've accumulated a lot more than eight DVDs. Uh, I I didn't count up how many I have. Um, there was a scenario where I got a whole bunch of free free DVDs. Um, didn't cost me anything, um, and so it, it just there were, there were just a ton of movies that I had on my wish list that I just got for free. So I'm gonna try to try to go through them as quick as I can. Um, I wish I could talk about them individually, but um, there's just so many of them. It's gonna it would it would last a long time. So here we go. I got Total Recall for free. I've been looking for that for quite a while. In really uh, unique shape too, with the special edition. Uh, I got Young Guns. Again, another special uh, special edition. Uh, you gotta love Boys in the Hood. Uh, Goodwill Hunting. I don't know why there's so many of these collector's editions, but they're, they were free. Uh, I've never seen this before. Uh, like a steel, steel book version of the, of the Departed. Um, I remember when this came out and, uh, having my brother, my older brother forcing me to watch it because it was so good. Uh, Terminator 3. The Sixth Sense. I already own this, but I just got a second copy because it was free. Uh, Gods and Generals. Uh, the Hunt for Red October. The Transporter. I love this movie. Christmas Vacation. Uh, National Security. This is another Martin Lawrence gem. Uh, the Punisher. I know that this has been remade, and then there's obviously the TV show. I never really gave the TV show a chance, but this was a a real uh, classic of a of an action movie. I, I always felt I thought it was really good. Uh, Quantum of Solace. I have a few James Bond movies in here that I got, and this is just one of them. Uh, I wish I could. I haven't gotten Skyfall yet. I thought Skyfall is the best one of uh, of him. Um, I got season one and season two of Red vs. Blue. Um, I'm, I remember watching Red vs. Blue. Uh, back in the 2000s, it was always really good. Uh, the original Rush Hour. Uh, I just threw this in the pile. Uh, I'm still trying to get my son to watch uh, just cartoon movies, and he hasn't really been too wild about sitting sitting very long to watch, but I just picked this up. It was free. This is still sealed. Uh... It's National Treasure 2. I think I have the first National Treasure. I, I gotta look at my app. Um, I was real happy to see this because it's been I I don't I haven't seen this um, out available even when I go to like pawn shops and stuff. Is the original Terminator, and I, I, I'm excited to rewatch this. All right, I still got three stacks here, all three. Uh, Mission Impossible. I was happy to see this. Uh, the original Goldeneye. Um, Timothy Dalton in License to Kill. I, I always liked him. I think I thought he was um, kind of like a mid-level James Bond. He wasn't like the worst. A lot of people label Roger Moore as being the worst, but. 
I think he, Timothy Dalton did it all right. There, speaking of Roger Moore, this is uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, I remember watching this years ago called The Protector with Tony Ja. It's a great, great uh, kung fu movie. I got The Phantom Menace, Clone Wars, and Revenge of the Sith. All three of these feel like they've never even been opened, which is awesome. Uh, here's the other Tony Jaa movie that's really, really great is uh, Ang Bak. Uh, I think this is... Yeah. Yeah, I know there's like a sequel. Um, I guess I think it was just called Ang Bak 2. But I know Ang Bak and The Protector are like two, two of his like most notable movies. Um, real excited to have saw these two. Uh, it's been forever since I saw this. Is uh, Steve McQueen in a movie called Bullet. Which pretty much was like a movie designed to sell the 19... 68 or 69 Mustang, I think. It's like the iconic car that he drives. I can't remember what, what type of car it is, but it's a muscle car. And then the Sting was also another one. Robert Redford and um, the Paul Newman. Uh, yeah, Paul Newman's in there. He's the guy on the right. The Sting and Bullet. I've never seen this before. I mean, I've been looking for DVDs for a, a little over a year and a half now. And this was cool to see. And again, for free. And a league of their own. I love Tom Hanks' character in this. I've been just kind of going after movies for certain actors. And um, some are just like real iconic movies that I like, just uh, have a lot of nostalgia for. But other movies are like going after for based on, on actors. Here is uh, First Blood, the Rambo uh, Rambo movies, well, the very first one. I, this is a part of a series, but I couldn't find the other, um, the other Rambos, or at least I don't think I did. There's so many of them, I forgot which, like, what I have here. It's kind of neat just looking through them. Uh, this movie is so, so, so underrated. Um, Pan's Labyrinth, if you haven't ever seen this before, this is... This is like the one movie that if like I'm in a conversation with a person with with a group of people about like movies, I always bring this up because this tends to be a movie that a lot of people have never heard of before, have never seen it before, and it is look it up on IMDb uh, if you've never heard of it before. It, it's just such a fantastic movie. Um, I think every time I watch it, I probably have watched it two or three times, and every time I watch it, I just feel like it's it, it's just such a a tremendous amazing accomplishment for a movie um, it's all in subtitles too so you have to read um, Bruce Willis in Die Hard with a Vengeance I, I think that's the second one I don't remember this is the one where he's in New York this is the only one where I know that like the president Chester A. Arthur I think is, is the president's uh, name this one school school's all about I think that's this one where they're trying to like defuse a bomb in, a, in an elementary school in New York, and he gets involved. Um, I'm a teacher, so I, th I just threw this in there. This is about, I guess, the Reformation, Martin Luther. Um, again, it was free. This I've never seen um, in, in DVD format. And this movie, when I watched it uh, uh, nearly 15 years ago, uh, gave me some really tough nights to fall asleep is The Deer Hunter. If you've never seen this before, um, I, I'd i say give it a try, but I, I don't know if I... I'm not really chomping at the bits to watch that again, but just a kind of a disturbing movie. Um, I had to, like, smile and laugh when I saw this. Because it's been a while since I've seen this, but Beverly Hills Ninja. This was at a time when Chris Farley just kept getting 
uh, movie role after movie role, and it was just like him just playing these characters that were just ridiculously stupid. Uh, another another really good action movie that a lot of people probably aren't too familiar with is Christian Bale movie called Equilibrium. Real happy to see this. Uh, I, I've been wanting this in my collection. Is uh, Full Metal Jacket. And then speaking of uh, Gunny, the Gunny Sergeant Sergeant uh, Lee er, uh, Ermy just passed away. So I'll have to make sure I watch that just for him. Uh, Blade. Wesley Snipes, it's a good movie too. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this, but I was real, real excited to have this um, added. Is uh, Behind Enemy Lines, such a good movie too. That was when Owen Wilson was doing action movies. Uh, this is a National Geographic. Some of these I'll just take to my to my uh, class my classroom. This is all about. Uh, it says uh, about vampires, and the reason why I picked this up is. There's a an individual in history. This guy's name's uh, Vlad the Impaler, and uh, I was just thinking that maybe there might be something in there that I could use um, at some point in one of my classes. Uh, DiCaprio movie, trying to go after a lot of the movies he's made. Uh, the Aviator. I thought this movie was good. Um, definitely not like his very best, but I, I liked it. I, I can't remember. I could have. I kind of get that movie mixed up with um, Catch Me If You Can sometimes. Uh, Jarhead. This is like a documentary. It just says about outlaws and gunslingers. Just different different uh, stories about Jesse Jesse James, Billy the Kid, uh, Wild Bill Hickok. Uh, Wyatt Earp. Just figured I might maybe sit down and watch a little bit of it. Uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. Haven't seen this movie in probably like 20 years. But uh, Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. Um, I think I've seen versions of this that was like in Chinese but then English subtitles. And I always thought it was funny because like the... The mouth, the mouth dubbing, or like the, the the English version was not like really synced very well, and just because I think it was made more for a Chinese audience, but then the uh, our English English audience got it too later. Uh, this is a documentary. Uh, I already own this, but I got it uh, to give to a coworker. It's a um, pretty decent series. Um, I can't remember if this is PBS. Uh, I don't know who who did this, but it's uh, based on the book called Killing Lincoln. And Will Smith movie called Enemy of the State. This was another really good one early in his career. It was like early in the stages of like technology involved with like espionage. Uh, these are movies I think I've... yeah. All of these movies I got at, a, at the pawn shop that I'm going to list here, and I paid a, a quarter for each, so I actually had to pay for some of these, these next grouping here. Uh, I got the Avengers at the pawn shop, uh, Let's Be Cops for 25 cents, I never watched that, just figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, Children of Men, this is a really good movie, I'm glad I found that. Uh, I watched this before once, and I thought it was pretty decent. Not like I'm laughing every second, but uh, it's called Without a Paddle. It's an interesting story about these three friends that try to track down like a treasure or something in like a remote remote area. I think it's, it takes place like out west somewhere. Um, it could be it could be like a, a remote region in West Virginia or something. I don't remember, but it's when like uh, Seth Green was like maybe at his peak, because he probably got top billing out of the three of those guys. Uh, the second 300 movie called Rise of an Empire, I was almost on the fence about just letting this sit, because I, I don't really know much about it. I know that it came out, but then like it didn't really get like a ton of praise, so I'm not sure what to expect with this, but I only paid a quarter for it, so if I watch it once and never touch it again, it's not that bad. 
uh, Italian Job, another Seth Green movie, but um, Mark Wahlberg too. Um, I was trying to think like if how early in Mark Wahlberg's career, like how big this was for him. If this was like a really star, like a lead starring role for him, that or if he had been in any other like other big movies besides this, I can't, I couldn't really think. I know this came out around like two thousand two, two thousand three. Uh, I was real excited for this when I saw this for 25 cents. Uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. I remember watching this uh, nearly 15 years ago. Uh, definitely definitely 10 years ago. Um, but it's like uh, before the Clone, the Star Wars cartoons, they made this uh, like miniseries called Star Wars The Clone Wars. And if there's a second volume... Uh, that was not in there, but this was cool because I I, I like I think I liked the first one the best anyway. I can't even really remember, remember the volume two two one. Um, and then this was also in there too. This was like the movie uh, Clone Wars that came out, and I had I was watching this as I was playing video games like uh, man probably like five or six days ago, and I, it was okay, but it wasn't really holding my attention as much as the other one. Um, I found this at a yard sale, and I think I, I again I paid like maybe fifty cents for was uh, the Fifth Element, and it uh, is a movie that I was really really looking looking for because I liked uh, Gary Oldman where my thumb is at his his uh, he was in this movie in addition to obviously Bruce Willis was like the main main character but this was a, a sci fi movie that um, I always liked when I was a kid growing up. Uh, and this was another one of the movies in the in the pile for the uh, pawn shop. This was uh, twenty five cents. This was Backdraft. Okay, I still have a few more. I set these aside because these are like gonna be um, movies that I take into my classroom. Um, this was also just a movie I got. This was for free that I was I was gonna give to my wife. She already knows about it, but. Uh, Again, this was free. This was the first and second seasons of Downton Abbey on Blu-ray. Um, so there were Blu-rays there, um, but I didn't really grab too many because I just felt guilty that I was taking... If I would have been going after Blu-rays and DVDs, how many I got. Um, the Crossing is a good movie that I can use as a teacher since it's about George Washington crossing the Delaware and surprising... Uh, the Hessians on Christmas Day. Uh, I never saw this movie, um, but again, it's, it's Bruce Willis movie, uh, Hearts War. Bruce Willis is another one I've been kind of going after a lot of his his stuff. Uh, I feel like this this pile is gonna fall here. Hang on a second. I didn't want you to be watching my video and then you hear a big crash. Uh, this is a movie that I've been looking for as a Western. I've been in, like, a, a Western kick, and uh, it's a Charles Bronson movie. Um, Charles Bronson, I think, plays the guy that like, can play the harmonica, and uh, Henry Fonda's also um, kind of a bad guy in this, too, but it's uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. The uh, the soundtrack in this is really cool. Um, I don't like I don't like this, like, I don't think it feel it's, like, more superior than, like, the... Um, the Eastwood trilogy, but it's still a movie that I was looking for, that I was uh, interested in giving it a try. Uh, this is based on a book, which I can't remember if I've read the book. I got to look at my. I have shelves of books at my school that I teach at, but uh, it's called Trial by Fire. I'm sure it's just like the documentary that um, would be in substitute for a person reading the book but um again i got it because it was free and i've read this book uh years ago uh, again probably another just like a documentary made for people that just don't want to read the book uh it's called founding brothers it's uh like a bunch of different short chapters about different different things related to the um the founding fathers and they are all uh i guess talked about in the documentary so those are all of the things I got. Um, I would say 98% of what I just showed you was all free. Um, the reason why it was free, if you, if you are still watching, um, is every year the public libraries um, 
allow for uh, teachers to have free books and free um, things that the that the public libraries are getting rid of. And um, it's not for the purpose of teachers to like get free stuff and then like take advantage and sell stuff, but um, it's meant to you know just be a nice thing to uh, of generosity to say thanks for being teachers I think and um, and I, I got a lot of books too but um, I just was in shock and awe because they had literally like four massive tables worth of like DVDs and um, and Blu-rays but I just felt too guilty like just snatching up Blu-rays because um, I, I was like shoulder to shoulder with like resellers people that aren't getting stuff for free, but they're literally like picking up Blu-rays. They're they're getting they're having to pay two dollars, but they're probably going to turn around and sell them on eBay for like about eight to ten bucks. Um, so I'm I was always I'm fine with my DVDs just because this is what I've been kind of interested in lately, and there's a lot of good older movies that um, I'd like to watch again. So. Let me know what you think, uh, if there's any movies that stick out to you that um, you've seen or you found interesting, let me know and I will talk to you later.